Hi there YouTubers, uh, apologies if the picture looks misty, the actual camera on this phone is smashed to pieces and I'm surprised you can see what you can see now, the other phone's in the house on charge. So, told you earlier I've got a box ready for my son's guitar but actually what I'm going to do, asking my son when I get some more pine, is make his box about this long. Reason being, if I do that, because I've shrunk the length of the head, I will be able to cut a piece off here and double it up like I did with the pine on my other guitar, copying this. Because then that allows me to make a cutout on here and it's backed up by another piece so it's still got strength to it. And there's only three strings on these things but still don't want it to fall apart. So that's what I'm doing. So you can see here already, I've shaped the piece of wood just like that. I've done the cutout for the knot or nut, I think they call them, and they call this part the bridge. Uh, and on mine, you know, I did it both with brass if you've seen the pictures on Instagram and the earlier videos. So what I've just done is take the junior hacksaw to this door hinge. Now, this strip here is what I built the other guitar with. So I've just literally cut this half off the hinge. Then I'm going to measure 7 millimeters. I'll do it tomorrow, and cut a strip off there, cutting those holes off. So then 5 millimeters gets glued into there, and the other two sticks up, just like that. So that's all it is, 2 millimeters, just that bit there. And then I'll make another one for here, and put it in a little block like I did on my last guitar. This piece of wood, you can move around. This is the guitar I was given. So on the next guitar I might even try and get some more of this mesh but I just wanted to get mine finished and now I wish I had got some mesh because yeah you can see it there look the wire if I tap my phone screen to focus you can see the wires in this guitar from this pickup but uh, focus come on phone but obviously you don't notice it because of the mesh but with mine, you can see a wire coming straight across. It bugs the hell out of me, but I really do like that guitar. You know, I like the shape of it because it's not a standard box like this. Um, I, I think I will be making some of these. That's why... Uh, making some of these? Making some more of these. That's why I've marked the first one, hashtag one. You know, and this will be hashtag two. Uh, Diddly bow, hashtag three. Um and so on and so on. I think I'll keep doing these. If I can get the wood cheap enough, uh, I'll, I'll make one or two as and when, but I'm just being careful not to fill the house full of guitars. Um, you know, I've got this stuff full of, this garage full of camping gear as it is, I need to get sorted and tidied. I tidy up, make a bit of room, wife brings a guinea pig hutch in, you know. Can't, can't do it, can I? Try and make a bit of room so I can work and I get that. <laughs> so uh, well that's what I'm up to at the minute I'm calling it a day I'm going to go in and and uh, my son will be coming back in a minute now from his friends so I'll carry on tomorrow tomorrow I'll glue that piece in I'll cut it to length and I'll get that bit glued underneath I'll get it shaped and, and stuck underneath so that's what that's what I plan on doing so right I'll, I'll try and keep you up to date with this one, this build. Uh, I'm not going to go over measurements and things. There's, there's, there's enough stuff on the internet about these uh, measurements, thicknesses, where to do your cuts. There's, it's all on the internet. I'm just showing you this one that I'm, I'm building now. And I'll probably show you the diddly bow when I come to make that as well. Alright, bye for now.